Hello ladies and gentlemen this is your chef from gurus cooking dot in with gobi manchurian for the ingredients and the cooking instructions please look at the description below we'll begin by taking a cauliflower and we'll get the stem off We'll now cut this cauliflower to extract the florets. The size of the florets that you'll be cutting this in is smaller size because they'll be crunchy and at the same time easy to eat. So this is the size. Don't use larger than this. We'll now blanch these gobi pieces for which I've taken water and added a quarter teaspoon of salt to it. We'll cook this at a high flame. and bring the water to a boil once the water comes to a boil we'll put off the flame and add the gobi pieces and just leave these pieces in this water for 3 minutes any insects that are there in the gobi will escape the gobi will become even more whiter and brighter you'll discard the water and just keep the gobi in a sieve this gobi has been blanched and has become soft as well so we'll now marinate this For marination, we'll be adding to this gobi quarter teaspoon of salt, one sixth teaspoon of black pepper powder, a quarter teaspoon of dark soy sauce, a quarter teaspoon of fresh ginger garlic paste. Two tablespoons of corn flour or corn starch, and we'll give this a good mix. Once you mix up everything pretty well, you'll keep this in the freezer. This way, it'll marinate and the gobi will become crunchy. In the meanwhile we'll prepare our batter 1 cup of maida or all purpose flour 1/2 a cup of corn flour or corn starch a quarter teaspoon of salt for seasoning a quarter teaspoon of black pepper powder mix we'll add some cold water Add the water gradually as you need it. Don't add all of it at once. Cold water is good because it avoids lumps. Make sure when you add the water, you keep stirring it using a whisk like this. The consistency of the batter, my friends, that you're looking for should be thick. It should be slightly thicker than the batter that you prepare for preparing pakoras using besan. So remember, thick batter is good. like this we'll add a quarter teaspoon of dark soy sauce 1 teaspoon of ajinomoto or msg and give it a good mix i forgot to add ginger garlic paste i'll add that now this is a quarter teaspoon of ginger garlic paste fresh give it a good mix and now we are prepared with our batter the gobi that i had marinated and kept in the fridge It's been there for almost like 5 minutes now. I'll get it out and we'll add this to the batter and mix. I have some more gobi pieces. I'll add them as well. It's now time for us to deep fry. For deep frying I have taken enough vegetable oil add a small piece of gobi and see if it sizzles up that means your oil is hot enough the oil should not be very very hot it should just be medium hot remember that that is why this piece comes up gradually and slowly that's the right amount of temperature we needed now you can lower the flame and cook the gobi 
will cook the gobi in two batches. These fritters of gobi will first cook at a low flame for 4 to 5 minutes easily at a low temperature if the oil is less hot. If it is slightly hot then 2 to 3 minutes is enough. But the important point is we'll cook them at a low flame because we don't want to burn them from the outside and keep them raw from the inside. This way at a low flame the gobi pieces will cook nicely from the inside but from the outside they will not be very crunchy. It's okay no problem. So when they are half cooked we will extract them. And then what to do with them I'll tell you soon. So it's almost cooked but you know while cooking the gobi pieces stick to each other like this and I've seen some of you what you do is in between the kadai itself you try to break them and separate them out. That's not a good habit. So don't do this that I'm showing you. Don't do this because you can spill the oil over you and hurt yourself, burn yourself. So first take the gobi pieces out even if they are stuck to each other after taking them out in a pan outside using your fingers separate them. See these are half cooked. Can you see them? These are not full cooked. Now increase the flame of your vessel to high, very high. Let the oil become very hot and these half cooked gobi pieces will now add them. To cook them in less than 2 minutes they'll become red hot and crunchy from the outside and they are already cooked in the beginning from the inside. So can you see friends they've become so crunchy from the outside in less than 2 minutes. But remember, I'm cooking at a very high flame now. So it's time for us to extract them and keep them and secure them on a paper napkin or a kitchen towel. Come, let's extract them. So can you see how crunchy they look already? <laughs> nice. Let me show you all the pieces like this. Wonderful! And then it's time for us to break open one and see. Uh, I committed a mistake. I didn't zoom the camera in. My bad. I'm so sorry for that, dear. Never mind. You can trust me. They are very crunchy. Alright, friends. It's time to prepare the sauce. I've taken a walk cooking at a high flame. I added one small ladle of oil from the same vessel in which we fried gobi. To this, we'll be adding. Two bulbs of spring onions, white part only, not the green part of the spring onions because they leave water. Just the white part. We are cooking at a high flame my friends and we'll saute this. And without cooking it completely, we'll now add ginger and garlic finely chopped. Remember, in this recipe, you don't kick everything. Quickly you add things one by one. So this is green chili cut like a diamond, two green chilies. So like I said, you don't cook everything here to the fullest. You keep cooking, you keep adding while it is half cooked. Never mind. Enjoy Manchurian this way. We'll add a lemon leaf. This is added more for the aroma rather than the taste. Please don't add too much lemon leaf. It is very pungent and strong in smell. Be careful regarding that. We'll now add the Hot chili sauce, I'm using the Asia brand. You can use any brand. This is one tablespoon of it. Please lower the flame now, otherwise you'll burn your sauces. We'll now add half a tablespoon of Szechuan sauce. This is Ching's Szechuan sauce, half a tablespoon. Remember, we are cooking at a low flame. We'll now add tomato ketchup. Ah, I think my eyesight is too weak, I'm growing old. Ah, now I can focus. It's fresh tomato ketchup, my friends. Half a tablespoon from Maggie or Kesan. Choose your brand. We'll now mix it up pretty well. And hoo hoo! Here you are. It's not done yet. We have a lot of other sauces to go in and also spices as well, my friends. We'll add half a tablespoon of dark soya sauce and half a tablespoon of white vinegar. Mm -hmm. Amazing already. Mix it up and before that you add one teaspoon of Ajinomoto and a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of white pepper powder and give it a good mix. Ajinomoto that you added is also called MSG Mono Sodium Glutamate. It enhances the flavor to twice as much. So don't miss Ajinomoto. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it my friends. So now we are almost done but we need to thicken this sauce slightly. So we'll prepare a corn flour slurry. How do you do that? You take a quarter 
cup of water to that you add one teaspoon of flour and then you mix it mix it mix it and then you add it and when you add it you quickly stir it with your ladle otherwise you'll form lumps and i'm still cooking at a low flame now within less than a minute the sauce will thicken up and it should look something like this Friends, get the gobi fritters or the gobi manchurian pakoras and add them here. When you add them, please make sure you lower the flame, otherwise the steam will make your pakoras soggy. So it's even better you lower the flame or put off the flame. Mix it up, let all the gobi pieces slurp up all the sauce that you prepared with love and passion. And here it is to enjoy. Don't you see it looks so crunchy and amazing? I wish you could pop this in your mouth just like I did after cooking this. It was really, really awesome. But don't forget to garnish this with some fresh green stalks of spring onions and serve it out to your friends and family members. But importantly, serve it with love. Ladies and gentlemen, go be Manchurian dry. Enjoy it and have it with some nice corn fried rice. I've also posted the recipe for that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Eliana and we welcome you to our channel once again. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. And it means a lot to me and to Eliana. We are sharing a gift voucher worth rupees 10,000 with one lucky subscriber every month. So if you haven't subscribed now, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and win a chance to get one lucky 10,000 voucher from Amazon. These recipes that you see are for you. Enjoy, click them and have fun. If you did recipe, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's it, nothing else. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Bye.